First round coverage of the G League playoffs here on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see T. McKnight going up against the Austin Spurs. Joined by Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz, this is Blake Suniga. And guys, this has all the makings of an exciting quarterfinals matchup. Absolutely, Blake. I mean, it's such an exciting series. We're Two excited points. to be here. Yeah. Both these teams know the stakes are high. They're ready to give it all they have to keep their championship dreams alive. But this is the postseason, so it takes more than just a big effort. These guys all go into overdrive and play past their regular season potential. Now here's AI. MP on the wing. To the inside. Here's Mercer. And he uses the glass on the layup. Oh, one thing I love about the G League, it's used as a testing ground. New rules in the NBA and the WNBA. Always interesting to see how they're looking to improve the sport. And a number of rules from the G League have been brought to the NBA. You take a look at the 14 clock reset, coaches' challenges. A lot of great Two ideas points. were born right here. Nobody among the defenders stepping up to the challenge uh, and challenging one that drives. And he says, thank you very much, and sails in for the flush. He's just going to take that every time. Oh, of course he will. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. Now here's Palmer. Mercer, Patterson covering. Mercer, no good. And it's the Spurs ball. Six-point game. Pass to Haynes. Connor outside. Haynes the screen. Let's the three fly. And Connor hits from deep. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more Two effort points. there. Yeah. you got to be kidding me. Breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? And why not? A nice way to pad the lead right there. Let's all go to New York. Oh, yes, indeed. I'm all in. Now here's Patterson. And the Spurs, another three. Well, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way. He's got all types of tricks up his sleeve. And on a stage like this, you can get noticed. For someone like NP, there's a lot of marketing to be done with a good performance. Oh, yes. Marketing. I mean, we're not talking about just the potential with NBA teams, but really here at the G League, local businesses, they're going to want to link up with the G League breakout star. Something these players might have in the back of their minds. Now here's MP. Just three to shoot. First shot, first basket. He is out of the blocks fast. Well, making those hustle plays is one of the many things MP does to help this team. Jeffries outside. Elbow shot. And there are the Spurs with another bucket. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. It's Palmer on the drive. Chuck up two right there. They're not rotating quickly enough on defense down low. They've got to provide more resistance inside. Jeffries outside. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Shot on the wing, count it. Textbook, nice pass, nice catch, nice shot. Team McKnight leading. MP outside. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And you look at the way MP has progressed, you can see the potential that looms within him. There is no doubt that at some point he'll be a star. It's only a matter of when. Could be next season, could be five, I mean, it could be a decade, but the star potential is there. And Bonner gets it to go. He's having quite the corner here, shooting the ball really well. MP inside, he's covered by Bonner. Here's Mercer. Jeffries grabs the miss. Outside Haynes. With some arc. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot of this game. Team Ignite trailing. 
Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Homer, that's good. What a mismatch it's been in the post. I mean, where's the defensive adjustment? They're just getting eaten alive out there. Yeah, I agree. They got to come up with something. A double team, maybe a sub. This is getting ridiculous. Now here's Jeffries. For three. It's not going to go for him. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. Team Ignite on top. Up. All right, folks, we're back for the second quarter of this round one matchup for the G League playoffs. How do you think MP has been so far? He's playing well in the early goings, but he needs to step on the gas a little bit. Some extra intensity would help him really make an impact. Really, in the G League, there's not much time for feeling the game out. You have to hit the ground running and play hard from the tip. The Austin Spurs had a perfect playoff run in 2018 undefeated on their way to the title. Just dominant, everything coming together for them in those playoffs. You know, it's a short postseason, but not only were they undefeated, they won every game by double digits. Outside Palmer. Back to Lawson. The three. Rebound Austin. Here's O'Neal. Pass to Bass. O'Neal. Hammonds. Defended by Thomas. Here's O'Neal. Beyond the arc. It's held in by Lawson. Not quite enough defense that time around. Lucky he was off. I hope that was a mistake by the D, because if that's how they plan to guard him, they're going to have some problems. As with a lot of G League teams, the Austin Spurs have had more than their share of NBA talent coming through town. We're talking about Tim Hardaway Jr., Danny Green, DeJounte Murray, and others. Players that have made a major mark in the NBA. And even though Team Ignite is full of prospects, they can compete with any team. You can't overlook the talent on this team. And of course, with the G League playoffs, it's a true do or die format. One loss and you're out. And it's made for some exciting tournaments in the past. Any seed can get hot and go all the way. I mean, you just love the wild nature of the G League playoffs. And Team Ignite, as you said, a very capable group. Made the playoffs in the most recent bubble. Experience matters in the league. When you have future NBA stars, it can level things out. Any year, Team Ignite could go all the way and maybe even win a title. Pass to Hicks. Here's Hammonds. Out of bounds, it'll be Team Ignite Ball. Substitution for Team Ignite. Jeremy Bishop, Franklin Batista. Now here's MP. He's covered closely. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. Season opening and does not hesitate. That shows him MP's confidence and how prepared he is. Pass to Hammonds. Inside. And Patterson throws it down. In this game, it won't be close for long if they keep giving up dunks like that. No, you're right, it won't. A glaring error defensively and letting him get all the way to the bucket. Just need better defense. Yeah, it's just two points, though. A flashy two points, yes, but it's still just two points. Well, of course, many NBA players have come out of the G League, but a fair amount of coaches have gotten their start here as well. And that's a trend we'll continue to see. Team vacancies are looking for winners at all levels, all G League included. I would bet a handful of the coaches in the league right now find their way to an NBA bench soon. And he hits it and gets half. That's a three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Both teams will make substitutions. And he's got his first opportunity at the line here tonight. And with MP and the work he's put in this season, it's easy to see the progress he's made so far. Yeah, and some of it is overt, while other parts of it have been subtle. But without question, 
MP has taken some major steps in his development during his time in the And there's nothing quite like a playoff atmosphere. Some great fans here in the G League. And no matter the level, no matter the team, fans get hyped for a playoff game. It's great to see this place rocking for a winner-take-all game. You know, the G League's a great path to the NBA for those players who don't want to take the college route. It's a different experience, but the G League lets young players hone their team against top-level talent. It'll get you ready for NBA hoops in a hurry. And the G League team Ignite, one of the newer teams in the league, formed in 2020. And really, the purpose of this team, the main purpose, prepare top talent for the NBA. And a lot of these players are feeling a ton of pressure. You know, not only is it a do or die playoff game, but they need to impress these NBA scouts as well. And there is a fine line they have to walk. Do you try and play for the win and only the win? Or do you try to show out a little to get some extra NBA attention? Now here's Bonner, defended by Bautista. Haynes with the triple. The shot that time, not on target. And Team McKnight going the other way now. And beyond the one-year select contracts on Team McKnight, the team is also home to many other G League players. The team is largely full of prospect players. However, there are vets and former college stars as well. But make no mistake, this team is here to showcase the future talent of the NBA. Back to AI. That falls. Two nice points. feed that time yeah. from MP. Those defenders look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're just getting pushed around on the low block. Maybe coach has got to make a substitution or something to energize this team. Well, they better rally soon. They've given up three straight buckets in the paint. And it's Bonner finishing it off. And for the players on Team Ignite, those that didn't spend any time in college, they'll still receive a full ride to a university. A drive by MP. And foul called as he misses and will shoot two free throws. That one on Patterson. Attacking full throttle. MP challenging off the dribble. Love watching MP do work. And he can't hit the second. Three. Bang, zone the trifecta. Well, the three-pointer has to be his best friend today, no question. It, it has been today, anyway. Most of his points have been courtesy of the game ball. The three-pointer is a nice friend to have. Yes. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Team Ignite ahead, up by one. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Welcome back, everyone, to this G League postseason matchup. So we're set to get going here in the second half. Give me a breakdown of what you're seeing from MP. Overall, he had a positive impact on the first half, but he really picked his moments. He didn't step up and run the show or anything like that. Well, doing that takes a confidence that he might not have developed yet. Luckily for him, the G League, a great place to grow into your superstar potential. Pass to Palmer. AI, MP outside. Down low, Mercer. And Mercer with the jam. Yeah, you have to uh, uh, appreciate the unselfish attitude of MP, showing he's more than capable of finding open teammates. Now here's Jeffries. They set a pick. Rejected by AI. Right side, Palmer. MP outside. Out to the wing. Back to AI. It's stolen by Bonner. And if you're just joining us, we've played just over a minute here in the third. Count the basket. They'll take as many of those high percentage shots as they can make. Team Ignite with the lead. On the wing, Diaz. To the middle. Here's Mercer. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. I love watching Connor Mercer anytime he's looking to score inside because that's where he can really do some damage. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your death squad. One more round of applause for your performers. In for your Spurs, 
Javon back. And we're about one and a half minutes here into the second half. Pass to Bonner. To the paint. Here's Blackman. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. No good on the free throw. The only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Shooting for your Spurs, Harvey. And it's tied up with that one. And here's Bautista. MP. He's guarded by Haynes. AI is screen. Back to Bautista. Over Bonner. Bautista shot is off. Here's Austin now. Pass to Jeffries. Hey, yo, right Back to Haynes. Oh, and he just the knocked the down the court. buzzer beater. Austin's oh, what a monster shot to close out the third. That concludes the... And welcome back as we're set to begin the fourth quarter of this G League postseason bout. What have you seen from MP so far in this one? How do I put this lightly? Uh, not his best work. He's paying his dues here in the G League and showing he needs the seasoning. We all know the potential that he possesses, but these are the types of games he needs to weed out if he's going to find success at the next level. Check out Mercer just pushing through the contact and using his team size to get his shot. And, and there's a foul called on him. That will be his Knight second foul of the game. Diaz, Edwin Palmer. And the Spurs with possession here. They lead by one. Pass to Bonner. And it's MP with the rebound. Team Ignite on offense. Back to Palmer. MP. And that's a foul called on Jeffries. That is his first foul of the game. The Spurs making a switch here. Daryl Blackman. MP outside. Pass to Mercer. And Mercer with the jam. Forceful play by Mercer at the rim, going up strong and throwing it down. We've played just over a minute here in the fourth quarter. Jeffries outside. Back to Bonner. Over AI. Rejected by AI. Don't try AI. This is his biggest strength, swat and shots, and this Franklin skill, Diaz. it could carry him to get a spot in the NBA. Pass to Blackman. Jeffries. Back to Blackman. Can't hit that one. Team Ignite on offense. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Count that bucket. That's just great yeah. ball movement. And that's key to this run. Passing it with a purpose. The D has not been able to keep up. On the wing, Bonner, covered by MP. Outside, Haynes. Will it go? That shot missing. Good work defensively by AI. Palmer outside. That Three falls. That's nice speed ball. that time from MP. They're doing a nice job of stringing together solid possessions and building that lead up. Yeah, and that's the key right there. Consistency. So stay in control of this game if you stick with the game plan and don't One waste possession. Absolutely. For your a touch under two and a half minutes of pass now here in the fourth. Get outside, get outside. Jeffries outside. Pass to Blackman. Bonner covered by MP. Blackman the screen. Bonner shot is off. This offense, it just seems completely deflated. While at the other end, it's one MP. bucket after another. This run is really getting out of hand. They're making it ugly. 
And just about three minutes through the fourth and final Two quarter here. The game. Two minutes. A drive by Jeffries. And stolen by AI. MP with it. Now Bonner defending. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Mercer isn't afraid of contact. In fact, he welcomes it and he's getting to the line for two. off as well so he misses both and they're struggling to keep up we'll see if they can turn things around on this trip they can't continue to come up empty sinks the three-pointer great job to work this trade from that close to the hoop and the outside kicks it out to diaz ai outside pass to mp Clock at six. To the inside. And stolen by Patterson. And here they come. Here's Blackman. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Team Ignite with the ball. They've led by as many as 11 points. MP with it. Now guarded by Blackman. Here's AI. Bonner with the defensive effort. The Spurs trail. Blocks their, their worst enemy now. Yeah, they need to work very quickly. Nails it! And now they trail by just four. He can time his passes so perfectly. What an assist. Pass to Diaz. Inside. Kicks it out to MP. AI with it. Four on the clock. Over to Bonner. Austin now. No time to spare. They need a bucket. And then a steal of foul to stop the clock. No good with the triple. You can just tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Boy, I mean, he's just shaking his head after that miss. At the line for Team Ignite. He hits the first one, and that puts them up five. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a six-point ball game. The free throws go down, and the lead goes up. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your next squad! One more round of applause for your performers. Bonner outside, over MP. The Spurs again can't hit it. And he commits the intentional foul. That's fourth personal foul. At the line for Team Ignite. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. So he comes up empty, missing both. Pass to Blackman. Back to Jeffries. Off the mark there with the three. Awesome. And an intentional foul right there. That's his second personal foul. Shooting for Team Ignite, Edwin Palmer. Taking two He drops the first. So That's Team Ignite the are the winners, and they're going to be advancing to the next 54. round. What a game. You know how Team amazing Ignite. they must 62. feel after coming away with that one. And they really...